Well, it's our fifth game here in pre-season stage one, and the Picks Creek Miners are taking on Stardozer Human Resources. On paper, Stardozer look to be pretty flaming mighty on offense, uh, but uh, both teams are even on defensively. We're just going to have to see what sort of difference that makes as we take to the field. All right, so we're looking at Nigel Prison for the kickoff. It's up and away, and uh, Picks Later is going to be running it back. Can he get the blocks? No. Uh oh. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh that, was, that was almost good, but wasn't. Well, there we go. Into the offensive moves now, and uh, starting as ever with a, with a little bit of airborne game just to see if we've got any. All right, to the tight end. That'll do. Brain Pakora there with a 10 yard catch and a first down. All right, well, that was, that was effective. Let's see if we can do that again with something else that's similar. Ziggy Whippet, the quarterback, is, uh, is looking for some action. He finds some. Throws into triple coverage like a clown. And uh, that's deflected by Joe Kidd there. Uh, this will give us our first look at the running game uh, for the uh, Picks Creek Miners. And uh, as has been demonstrated throughout the preseason uh, uh, series, uh, we've got your running game can dictate quite a lot. That's going to be third and seven. Oh, well, I mean that's a, that's a passing play then, isn't it? Yep, yep, it is. I think we might. I think we might go tight end again. I wasn't let down last time, and I would like a hold on. Throw it to this dude. Well, you did, but he didn't make it. Four yards on the reception. Velocidad, the receiver. Ah, uh, there's the halfback, incidentally, but uh, there they go. It is now fourth and three. We're inside enemy territory. I think we're going to go for the run. Uh, we'll chance this and see if we can't make the last three yards that we need in order to keep this drive moving. Let's keep the drive moving, team. We're away. There we go. Up the middle. To the outside. No, never mind. They all came back. Crikey, their, de their defense is lively. Uh, anyway, 10-yard run from Velocidad, and we're still in possession. All right, let's try and be more successful this time. All right, not have to go to fourth down. That would be a bonus. A good pass, but it was off target. Well, it wasn't It wasn't a good pass. It was almost a good pass, but it was off target. Therefore, it was a bad pass. It was a bad pass. Uh, second and ten now. Taking it to the ground. No hole. There's a hole. And we've got room to move. But not a massive amount of room to move, but an 11-yard run there from Velocidad. And the Miners keep trucking. All uh, right, let's, let's try and do it all in one here. All right. 81, I'm looking at you. All right. Shake off your defender. Here comes the ball. All right, here we go. And here comes the ball. There goes the ball. Picks later there. 32-yard catch. And that is the first score of the day. It's a good one too. Right, let's let's get this extra point knocked in. Or rather, let's find out if they paid any money for a kicker. Uh, that's not necessarily on target there. Range good. Interaction with goalpost poor. Right oh, okay, well we'll we'll know that next time. Uh, and maybe not do it. That's a big beefy looking kick that's gonna land in the chicken zone. Yeah, that's fine. The way that some people run the ball back, I, having a touchback is no bad thing. All right, so your first look now at uh, whoever this is, Stardozer, Stardozer Human Resources. Uh, they pass it off to uh, uh, Fiona Cannula there as it gets the run. She didn't manage to get much out of it. I mean, a, a four yards. No, you take those all day, you'll score all day, but... Uh, all day won't last very long as we're two seconds away from the end of the first period. Nice catch there. Uh, Brook liability with an eight yarder and that's a first down. This is uh, this is a, 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 a solid looking performance from their offense so far. But we were expecting something along those lines given that they are a, a, a team rated over 50. You don't see very many of those uh, on either side of the ball. So we'd, uh, we should be, in theory, getting thumped. Yeah, what? Like Frenzy just did. Yeah, Frenzy got pretty good thumped, but did keep hold of the ball. Well, no sign of letting up so far from the uh, from the human resources team. 
and we're going to have to try and figure out why it's slowing them down but we're not getting any we're not getting any movement on the line defensive lines not breaking through or causing any trouble we've not seen them try uh, an inside run yet and when they do we will know just how badly outgunned we are in the trenches and i'm sure we're not outgunned at all i'm sure we're fine you reckon i think we're i think we're in big big doo doo here yeah and Oh, couldn't catch that one. Boris wet paper bag there, the quarterback, throwing it out to some clown on the wing who couldn't keep hold of it long enough to, uh, to haul it in for a catch. And that's going to bring up third and eight and an opportunity for us to turn this over and maybe put the game in our favour. Uh, we've got to stop him first. And uh, that's, that's not the easy bit. No, no, it is. That is the easy bit, especially when the pass just drops at his feet and he's gone, oh... What was I supposed to do with that? You go, you're supposed to catch it with your hands. Hands. What are they? Yes, good. So glad you could be here today. Well, that was a punt return that was worth doing. Again, I would have possibly called that a fair catch, but no, not in this case. In this case, it wasn't a fair catch. More of a an opportunity for a defender to just, you know, vent. All right, let's uh, let's try something long here. 86. I'm I'm feeling that this is your time to shine. 86 there. Making his move. And... Oh! Ah! Bobbles! But cannot reel it in. And it's... Uh, uh, Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Highway who manages to uh, to knock that one apart. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Gunny. Uh, here we go. Alright. Second down. Have to, have to run on second down. That's the law. And we're away. Velocidad. Have him move. If you'd have picked up the tackle there, son. If you'd, have, if you'd have got the block, we'd be still running now. Still, that was, you know, we we got progress, but that could have gone for so much further. Could have gone a heck of a lot further with that one. First down. All right, okay, yep. Whoop, go. Spin move. I found the spin move button. Envy Saribor there with a 46-yard burn it down the sideline. And that's that's come up nicely. I think you might want to be calling a timeout about now. Yeah, 20 yards to go. Yeah, no, 20 seconds to go, 25 yards to go. First down, you're passing. Okay. Call a confusing pass that's going to confuse them. Call a timeout immediately and, if necessary, kick the field goal. Yes, boss. Right you are. Let's do it. Tight end, tight end, tight end. Bad throw, bad throw. Ten seconds left on the clock. Chance another go? Nope. Nope, let's take the points. A 39-yard field goal would be the longest field goal of the preseason so far. Angle looks promising. Power looks good. Booyah! Parabola introvert there. A nailing one from the 39 yards. And at halftime... It is score versus lesser score. Uh, Picks Creek, nine. And Stardoza, zero. But Stardoza will start with the ball. And they do look pretty capable of scoring. See if they fancy running one back. They're not going to run this back. You put it in the chicken zone. All right, okay. All right, well, we're just going to we're gonna have to wait and see if, they've, uh, if they're feeling lively at all. Let's start out with a bit of deep cover here and, uh, and see what they can do against that. And uh, well, if they run, they're going to get about eight yards, if not more. All right, okay. There is a definite mismatch in the trenches there. Oh, no, that was a nice catch. Uh, as uh, Dante Intestines runs for 37 yards, and, uh, and they look threatening. Given that we were trying to protect against the deep pass there, I'd have said that we didn't do so well. Uh, but my defensive lineman as I was trying to say earlier on there, got a, a bit of a kick in by the offensive line, which very much says to me that, that in the trenches, they are ahead. Brook liability, 29 yards, and they are now well into a scoring situation. I think we continue to bring pressure. Uh, yeah, let's go with the four-man front. front. They're, they're, yeah, they're in goal line or similar. Yeah, everyone's on the line there close up there but that's not going to help you no 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 you might have caught the ball but it didn't go anywhere clowns all right goal line yeah. okay. 
Uh, they've gone with a bit more of a spread formation this time around. Uh, we'll be all right. You reckon? Look at all three of them open. Dutch retro guy there with the nine yards. Touchdown catch here in the third quarter. They're going for one uh, as their extra point uh, moment of glory. And they have paid to have a halfway decent kicker. So uh, with the scores now nine to seven, we are one minute 35 from the end of the third quarter and the miners are going to want to chew the clock up. Or, you know, score more points. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Takes the easy way out there and runs out of bounds after 34 yards. Possibly could have gone further, but didn't bother. Um, instead, running out of bounds. Well, you know, people do these things. And uh, right there. Okay, lovely job. David concentrates. 12 yard catch. Beautiful work. First down again. And uh, there's, there's no signs of... That's not the button I wanted. Uh, there's no signs of let-up uh, from this Miners team who've, uh, who've, who've got it, all of the momentum flowing in their direction. That's not a great pass, but it's a good catch. Steps out of bounds, which accomplishes one of neither of two objectives, which is either, you know, keep the clock moving or... It's, uh, you know, make a whole bunch of yards. Not just casually stepping out of bounds without being hit. Where's the where's the point? Where is the where's the benefit to anyone? Well, yeah. Wide open in the middle. The tight end once again. Brain Pokora with an eight yards completion. And, uh, and we'll we'll be trying to we'll be trying to jam this one straight up their gullet uh, on second and two. Ready? Jam it up the gullet. That sounds a bit harsh. It is a bit harsh. But it's football. Oh, so nearly wiggled his way into the end zone there. Velocidad with a nice 18 yarder. And uh, we've got uh, Short and Excitable to, uh, to take the lead. Two seconds left here in the third quarter. That'll do. Well, catch it then. And uh, that's Velocidad again, failing to catch the ball. But that is going to give us a second down, which means we can run it. And it's time to see the uh, the fullback making their debut appearance in the game. What's it going to be? It's going to be that. Olympia Swiss Lagoons there, and she's in after two yards. And we're all we're all there. It's all it's all happening now. The miners will be up by. Well, they're currently up by eight. Give me a moment. Nine. Yes. Okay. Well, this is this is where it's uh, it all comes down to the crunchy times. Uh, under three minutes left to play, and uh, once again we're sticking that one into the chicken zone. Yep. Yeah, all of that. Uh, right. Okay. Here we are. Now the the Stardos a team. They were very highly rated offensively. Uh, but as yet, they have, they've yet to really demonstrate anything. Oh, that was nice. Um, tackle him. Yeah, yeah, well done. Okay. Brook liability again, 58 yards. Well, it's not a one-man offense. They, they can spread it around a bit, but liability's been coming up with some of the biggest plays so far. So, you know, maybe you could say that uh, they've, they've clearly spent some points there. But paperback with a very nice throw. Uh, not a huge number of, of, of yards after the catch. And that's another touchdown. Constance Frenzy, 17 yards, taking no time at all to bring this game back into order. Uh, here's the extra point. Nigel Prison lined up to uh, do his thing. And that's, uh, I mean, if that's his thing, you'd question why he's got a contract on the team. Miners now 16. Start as a human resources are on 13. And it's, uh, it's Picks Creek who have the ball. And a... No, no, I, I, I had a moment there where I thought it was all going to turn magical. It really didn't. But it could turn magical if I chuck this bad boy a long way. Right, what haven't we called yet? Try this one. And here we go. Only three, only three receive, receivers on the play. Four receivers on the play. Huss it. Smashed. That was a that was a lovely spiral on that one. Uh, but uh, Sergeant Highway there putting it down once again 
So, uh, yeah, 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 I mean, it could have been. It could have been, but wasn't. But it could have been. Anyway, second and ten. And we'll tell you, we're going back to the ground because chewing the clock up isn't going to do us any harm either. And Velocidad almost had room to move. But then found a bloke coming straight at him at a fair lick and took a bloke to the face. That's fine if that's your thing. But I don't think that's what he was looking for on that particular occasion. Well, that was, that was a bit chancy. Um, David Constrate, 14-yard catch, but as mentioned, chancy. That's what that was. Just a bit chancy, you know. Right, we've done this once. Yeah, four times. Twice. Twice. Never. Okay, then. All right, this is a half-back valve-style pass, this one. Yeah. Go on, keep running. Keep running. Don't just wait at the sideline, you clown. I mean, okay, you've got a good run in there, but that could have been so much more. If you'd have kept going upfield, no one was bothering to cover you. All right, let's go to the deep passes. This once, twice, once, once, never. Fine. And that way we'll have, we'll have called all the passes. Oh, that's a nice thing to see. And it's a good one. It's a good pass, this one. It could be. He's in. Brian Pecora there, 31 yards in the touchdown, and surely, surely this puts this one out of range of the hostiles, who, uh, who haven't got a lot of time left, 38 seconds on the clock, and they're going to be down by two scores. Yeah. In your face there. Oh, we're such a high-rated team. You might be high-rated, son, but you ain't that good. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's try and give them a run back this time. All right. Oh, flipping it. How much of the field do you want to give them? Well, I wasn't thinking that much, necessarily. No, I'm playing he's falling over. There you go. Yeah, see, he's shaved a little bit more time off the clock. That's, that's thinking, that is. Uh, okay, 31 seconds to go, and uh, Stardos a trail by 10. Are they going to do anything with the time available? Uh, deep parts, I would have suggested. Would have, no, no, apparently we're keeping it on the ground. For two yards. Okay, it's a, it's a bold move. Didn't work though, did it? No. Now, as much as we know already that that, uh, that deep cover doesn't do you a huge amount of favours, it will at least give me the free safety lying deep on the pitch to uh, potentially stuff anyone. You know, they're running it again. Okay. All right. You go, girl. Um, no, whatever you. If you if you think that's the way to go, then you you go go go. No, let's just go straight back to blitzing again. It's more fun. Yeah, but we're, we are having a tough time getting past this offensive line, but that's trouble. Nice. Open the hole. Blythe downhill with the sack. 11-yard loss, and that shot must surely shut the gravestone on top of the heads of the Human Resources team who have time for one more play. It's a catch. He's away. Is he going to make it? Nah. Uh, very nice, Brooke. Yeah, well done. Your fourth catch of the day takes you over 100 yards, but that's the game over and your team lost. So, uh, in your face. And uh, and that's uh, that's the ball game. Uh, Pitch Creek Miners putting on a decent display. Ziggy Whippet completing 10 of 16 for 187 yards. Pretty strong. Uh, everyone got a catch apart from Swiss Lagoon, who uh, only made an entry in running and scored the only ground touchdown of the day. Uh, meanwhile, the Miners' defense, well, downhill, I suppose, with a sack and a tackle for loss. That's a pretty good game. And there's uh, obviously the uh, special teams that everybody cares so deeply, deeply about. Uh, flipping it over and having a look at the start of human resources. Uh, Boris wet paper bag completed 214 yards off nine completions and 11 attempts. Had they stuck at that, they might have done better. That said, of course, they only ran four times. In that case, a few more plays on offense would not have gone amiss for them. Uh, outplayed and used up too much clock, I would suggest, was the problem there. Uh, Gunny Sergeant Highway, probably the highest point on the defensive side of things, uh, with two deflected passes. And here are those special teams players. My, how special they are. 
Moving on to our second game of the day, and uh, it is the Nomads taking on Colonel School for the first time this season. Uh, the Nomads do, again, have a, appear to have a very strong offence, and I look forward to playing with that. Uh, both teams pretty solid all round, uh, rated 47 in total. Is it going to be a blowout for the Nomads? Well, we're just going to have to find out. Here is Longshot with the kickoff. And it's Furious Sponge Bath sat back there, ready to do the return. And he's away. All right, gets blocks. He's got moves. Has he got the speed? He looks like he might have the speed. Dodges one. Couldn't quite dodge the other. And the opening kickoff goes for 66 yards. Furious Sponge Bath making himself known immediately to a member of the armed services. It says... I'm here. Brad Commissar, back to pass. And we'll, we'll get our first look at the pass offense. And that's a nice catch there from Fenella Value Pack. He'll go for six yards. Maybe not spectacular, but it's certainly got the job done. Uh, as we head to the ground on second down in that way that we're supposed to. And here we go. Straight up the middle. Straight into the end zone. Keeping it climb. Keeping it, I was going to say clean, quick. I was using all those words. And, uh, and that is the Nomads having lit it up fast. Uh, very impressive work. Uh, although an awful lot was reliant on that initial kickoff return. The Nomads don't have a kicker, everybody. Even with a pretty decent kick, couldn't quite make the extra point there. Here's a nice big boofy kick that's going to land in the chicken zone. So we won't see a, a, a return from Colonel School. That's okay. We are going to see what they're capable of, though, on offense. You're looking at Father Tempest there at quarterback. And uh, I need to get some of... Well, that was, that was bobbled all over the joint, that one. Trace Attitude did, uh, being credited with the deflection. Uh, as that brings up second down. All right, we did the press first time around. All right, yeah, that's good. Let's just let's keep... Keep rotating through all these play variants as we uh, get our second look at the battle in the trenches. It, it does look like the, the Nomad defensive line might have enough to get past the offensive line there, but we'll have to see. Third and seven now. Well, let's bring some blitz. We do like to blitz on third down. We, well, we like to blitz on every down, so, you know, that shouldn't really be surprising. There's the pass. Tipped. No good. It's gone. That's it. It's dropped. Massive disappointment there, and uh, Colonel School will will be hoping they can turn it around on their on on this possession. No, they are punting. Okay, there's the punt. It's gone a modest distance, and here comes the return. We've got a block on the side there. Not enough. Not enough. 17 yard return. Well, it's not to be sniffed at, but it, it's not majestic either. And. Uh, take to the air once again on first down let's see if we can make some mileage no there's a pass no mileage though no that was Juan Summoner picking up the uh, picking up the catch but couldn't make anything from it beyond that uh, as we take uh, the ball groundward for a second down here in the last minute of first quarter a nice piece of running from Esquire but not a first down, which gives us, what, third and one. Uh, do it again, then. All right, one yard needed. And uh, should they make this, it will be uh, it will be a positive move. There we go. And a rock. Crikey. Not sure where 29 came from there, but Sledgehammer Esquire hit with a sledgehammer from the outside of the line as the clock runs down with just two seconds left at the end of the first quarter. And... Uh, the Nomad's very much in charge at the moment. Up six to nothing, as they are. All right, okay, now. There's the catch. There's value pack again. Uh, making, making some mileage there. 23 yards on the catch. That's enough for a first down. Are we inside the 10? I think we might be. Uh, as we head into, inside the 15. Uh, as we head into enemy territory, deep into enemy territory. The red zone, one may call it. Uh, and uh, and the Ready, second quarter. This Nomad offense does look quite pacey, as we've seen it so far. You'll do. 
That's uh, Vila Stupendous with a 15-yard touchdown catch. No, we don't. We don't want to call. No, we we definitely don't want to call a uh, an extra point. There's no point to it in the slightest. We'll just try shoving it up the middle. All right. Oh, covered in covered in grease, and there we go. It took a second effort there, but Esquire there punches it in for two points, and that's now 14 to nothing in favour of the Nomads. Colonel School will be looking to respond, and they've got the best part of the uh, the second quarter in which to do so. We're going to see a return. What sort of return are we going to see? Yeah, that sort of return. Okay, fine. All right. Well, back to uh, back to business as usual, and uh, we're going to keep keep trying out some different defensive options here, in in a hope that we can break through and stuff the quarterback. Oh, that's trouble! Oh, I almost had him. That would have been good had the receiver caught the ball that was very clearly aimed at them while they were pretty much open. One suspects somewhat strongly that that corner uh, that that uh, receiver can't catch. I wonder if we'll see a second attempt here, or if they're going to... There it is, it's on the ground. Running straight at the defender. It was an optimistic move there by Leroy Jenkins, but uh, he couldn't quite make it anything more than a vast disappointment for all fans of the Colonel School team. Another run. Bouncing off his own man there, rather than, you know, going, oh, maybe I'll avoid that. Uh, but it's still good enough for a first down. Uh, the one thing that is for certain is that this team needs to be picking the pace up here. Uh, we've got uh, 157 to play here in the second quarter. And, oh, well, he, he got kicked halfway across the field. And uh, and that cost him, well, any, any forward momentum and potentially his ability to walk without a, a walking stick in later life uh, for one yard. You ask yourself, was it worth it? The answer is probably not. But there's th there was some moves going on there. Uh, Jenkins again, 15 yards. That's a bit more like it. They're going to need more, more, uh, more progress of that kind of nature, where they they gain a decent number of yards. As we switch back to the blitz, because you know, yeah, you would. All right, here we go. All right, nothing doing. No pressure. Not good enough though. But it was, uh, it was sufficient to force a pass that maybe was unwise, given that the receiver was in triple coverage. Uh, more pressure? More pressure. All right. Pressure coming. There we are. Wait for it. And get that guy. Again with the pressure, but this time the pass is pulled off, and, and they're gone. That's Super Grover, I believe. 43-yard catch. And it well, I hadn't got anyone who could cover them. I, ju I mention it because it feels like it might be important later on. If they keep throwing it to Super Grover, they'll score a lot of touchdowns. Because I'm not fast enough. I, I feel like I've made this point already. Well, that was a terrible throw. Father Tempest there, uh, holding his head in his hands, justifiably, because that throw, from not very much distance at all, was wretched. Spongebath back for the kickoff. Has men in front of him. And space. Oi. And that's another decent return. 38 yards on the return. And uh, the uh, the Nomad team are charging. Uh, right. Slash. Okay. Okay. Well, let's try and bring Spongebath into the play again here. Done deal. Okay. And... Wait, that's not the pattern I was expecting him to run, but he's got the ball anyway. And he's going to go all the way. Straight in on a 45-yard, a furious sponge bath. When we were talking about players that are going to be difficult to stop, that's one right there. Uh, we're going for two because we haven't packed a kicker. Ooh, close but not. Flynn banana tree there with the stop, uh, preventing the two-point conversion. Uh, but it is all way, uh, all one way nomad traffic right now. That's another short kickoff. But are we going to see anything that might possibly conceivably be described as a return? That play had finished before I'd finished the sentence, so I think we know the answer. Nine seconds to go here in the second quarter. And, uh, well, 
There are a couple of ways that Colonel Score could score on a single play here, but I'm betting they're not doing it. No, see, they called that instead. Yep. Leroy Jenkins, a nice 19-yard run to run out the clock here and take us to halftime, where uh, where the Nomads have a convincing lead, but the, uh, the Colonel Score do seem to be capable of moving the ball. They just need to move it a little bit more effectively, which is not what they did just now. Here's the kickoff. That's a good kick. Well, it's not good, but it's better than you've done so far. Down to the five-yard line. And, uh, well, he's not getting up. Okay, straight, straight back into the blitzing. It's all about the blitzing, people. Blitzing all day long. Nothing better than sacking the opposing quarterback. Except maybe sacking the opposing quarterback and causing a fumble at the same time. But we have yet to see a fumble in preseason. Well, that was a big, fat run there from Jenkins. 41 yards. Largely due to some pretty competent, some pretty, pretty safe-looking blocking going on. Uh, which I don't think we've seen so far in this game. And therefore, it took me a little bit by surprise. He's off again. Shouldn't have cut inside. You had the block to the outside there. Son should have gone for the wing. Straight up the sideline. Yeah, you'd have done better. I mean, I don't mind, because obviously, you know, I'm winning. But at the same time, it's not my team, so I'm not that fast. All right, uh, what are we looking at here? Second and two. Forget that. It's going to be a first down. Oh, a spin. Didn't help him too much. Jenkins again. That takes him over 100 yards for the day as the Colonel School start to work on the piece of offense that has been most effective for them. Saying that, of course, they do have other options available and just haven't used them. Uh, a little, an, almost a pitch there, and Hippie Impact is on board to uh, to stuff the running back. Uh, and that will bring a second and goal from the 11. That's maybe a little longer than you'd prefer uh, to, be, uh, to be charging the goal line. That's, that's some nice moves. It's not enough, though. Seven yard run brings up third and goal, four yards to go. And this is, uh, this is where you earn your money and take your chances. Oh, I think you're playing too many people back there. Yeah, I, know, I probably am. Although saying that, if they're going for the pass, that's a promising thing. Is it? Is it? It's not. And uh, that's, a, that's a touchdown denied there by Trace Attitude, who's made a name for herself today. Fourth down, they're going for it again because they have to. Uh, give, me, give me goal line, please. All right, playing, playing the defense in a little bit more this time, but that's only going to be any good if we can bring the pressure, which we can't, and that's a touchdown. Barbara Joy Joy there, second catch of the day, and it's a touchdown. Going for two once more. Well, I like it because it keeps it, you know, a little bit more football and less kickers. All right, there you go. And defend. Would it kill one of you to catch one of those? Anyway, Father Tempest there failing to convert. He's only had 51 yards today, and he's capable of a lot more than that. But uh, we're about to witness the sponge bath show again. Not that kind of show. All right, waits for the blocks. Has them. Oh, block was lost straight in front of him, and he couldn't make another big, fat, marvellous return. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to throw the ball to him now, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, no, you find a play that works. Work it. All right, here we go. And launch. Catch. Run away. Spin move. Oh, that was a bit of a... Furious sponge bar finally gets what he's deserved for the entire game. And that's a touchdown all of his own. It wasn't spin, but that was, I did was like, a, like a, a, a stiff arm there. That's what that was. Yeah. Let's do one of these. Yep. No, it's your two flip forward out. That was one down. Sledgy there, almost coming unstuck. Uh, but he managed to keep his feet long enough to pile it into the end zone. And the Nomads are now looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Good, good for this game. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good is what they're looking. Uh, there you go. Smack him in the shops. And that's a, 
That's another so-so kind of a return. Uh, another stop here would be good. 15 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Colonel School largely out of it, but I mean, two touchdowns brings them back in, but they do have to stop me from scoring. Let me tell you, they ain't going to do that. No, I'm too good. Super Grover. It's that guy. Second catch of the day, 17 yards. It's that guy. Keep bringing the pressure. I think the pressure is a, a thing to bring. All right, we'll, we'll bring it then. I'll put it in a special carry case. Label it this way up. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, couldn't, good made of pressure. Oh, that's a nice catch. And, uh, oh, look, it's Super Grover with a 52-yard touchdown. Well, this game is not over. There is, there is more to play here. Um, as the, uh, as Colonel Score refused to fall over and die. Uh, they, they've just scored again, but they are still trailing currently by 10 points. Hippie Impacts makes the stop. And the gap remains at 10 as we head into the fourth quarter. And a kickoff now from Longshot. Back to that man, Sponge Bath. Who, spoiler warning, I'm going to chuck it to him again if I need to. I need to. I'm going to chuck it to him again. I'm all about the spin moves and the stiff arm and all of that business. All right, well, why don't you do it this way? Oh, potentially creating a mismatch. Potentially. All right, okay, let's do it. Ready, break. Down. Set. Hut, hut. Okay, all right, there he is. He's open. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> spin move. Oh, no, that was a juke. He attempted a juke there. 65 yard catch from Sponge Bath. Uh, and uh, I, that's quite good, isn't it? Isn't that the sort of thing you want to see? Well, it's the sort of thing you want to see if you're a Nomads fan, that's for sure. Um, will we continue to see it throughout the season? And that's a nice catch from Mr. Smithers, the tight end, uh, to take the score into the 30s. Well, booyah, frankly. Uh, the, uh, the Nomads are, are, are trucking using barely any time at all to uh, increase their score further and that's another two points they could they could just as easily be running a, a run first offense here and they'd be doing just as well they are quite a formidable team when it comes to talent it's quite difficult to say for certain whether or not the uh, uh, the colonel school are just having a rough day or whether they're a load of old rubbish uh, because they're they're not calling the right plays. Frankly, they could they could be exploiting that Super Grover all day long if they chose to. Yeah. Anyway, there's a bit of a run. Jenkins again. He's he's solid, but he's just not he's not making a breakout. He's not he's not getting far enough away to uh, to make it. You know, score worthy. One forty remains on the game clock. And uh, it is 18 points difference between the two teams. I almost got the quarterback. Oh, I, right. I love sacking the quarterback. I love it. Didn't sack the quarterback. Wow. Third and one here. And uh, we're going we're gonna to have to play something to try and stop a one yard run up the middle, which is what we're about to see. No, he's passing it. <clears throat> really badly as well. That's going to be fourth and one, and they're going to go for it here as well. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, give me the, give me this. Give, give me some kind of zone blitz kind of deal. Uh, this looks to be no. They, they haven't got a half back on the field, so they're going for it all, and they have it. 84. That's a number that seems familiar. Super Grover there with a 61-yard touchdown catch, and Colonel School refused to die. Uh, they've given up on trying to get two points, and instead they'll kick this one short. Thank you. And uh, 36 to 24, the score now, with one minute left to play here in the fourth quarter. And uh, and the Nomads are going to have the ball. There you go. No, 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 no. Furious, always looking for too many angles at once. Couldn't make any. Uh, couldn't make any headway there. Uh, let's see if you can make any headway on this one. Yeah, I am going to continue exploiting the same play. Yeah, 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 I am. Or am I? Launches! 
tipped. No dice. And uh, that's an unfortunate miss there. But uh, you can't complete them all. Uh, right, okay, second down. Let's, uh, let's, let's put some yardage up here. Although, frankly, all we really need to do is just chew the clock. Uh, but Esquire has got some room to manoeuvre. He sidesteps one dude, couldn't quite make it past the other one. And we've uh, we've got a timeout being called by Colonel School, because, I don't know, they must have some kind of plan. <laughs> if you say so, fellas. Uh, but we're, we're all up in your business here, and uh, I'm probably going to score on this play. Not the best pass, not the best pass. Still in motion. His feet were moving. Hadn't been anchored, and therefore the pass was a little off target. Uh, but we are going to uh, we are going to see one last attempt here from the Nomads to uh, to run their score up yet further, and they're not going to. No, and they've called a timeout again. Nomad Gunslinger there, Im impacting with a big hit. All right, just stick it in the end zone. Go on, see what you can do. All right, okay. Go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Spongy! Touchdown. Third touchdown of the day, and that will take him to 206 yards. Hoof. Indeed, hoof is the word as uh, as they go for two. And we're there. And that's Juan Summoner there, getting the two points for the team. And that's going to be the final score of the day. 44 plays 24. Uh, the Nomads looking pretty impressive. Brad Commissar, 9 of 11 passes, 5 touchdowns, 258 yards in 3 minute quarters. Holy cow. Sponge Bath looked good, but then he did pass it around. Other players looked capable of doing some damage. Esquire with 75 yards off 5 run attempts also looks pretty capable. The Nomad offense, frightening. Uh, on attitude, trace at on attitude on defense, trace attitude managed to uh, knock down a couple of passes, and then we had a, a tackle for loss there from Hippie Impact, which is also nice to see. And here is special teams, which I'm going to talk about because Furious Sponge Bath set his precedent early on. He only managed an average of 27 yards per kick return, but he started strong and continued that way. As we look at the Colonel School. 6 of 13 for Father Tempest, 140, 181 yards and 4 touchdowns. Really started to come into its own in the second half, but too little too late, I reckon. Uh, 4 catches by Super Grover and uh, 3 touchdowns. Ooh, he could be dangerous. Leroy Jenkins managing 120 yards off 11 runs isn't bad either, but it just wasn't prolific enough to keep them in the game. Looking at the defence, there it is, look at it. Gunslinger with a tackle for loss. That was so late in the game I wasn't really paying attention. So here are some special team players. Great. We'll be back with the last stage of week one of preseason in the next episode. I hope you tune in to watch that because otherwise you won't know the scores and what have you. So it's probably worth the time to do so. I mean, Colonel Failure, thank you very much for watching. This has been the Electro Sports Football League here on Electro Sports TV with me, Colonel Failure, playing the Electro Sports Football League on here. Electro Sports TV. Colonel Failure here. TV, Electro Sports Football League. Cheerio.